purpose of this video is to share my attempt to perform a calibration on the HP 8601A as regards to the symmetrical sweep operation. What I've noticed is that the uh, symmetry of the sweep is off. And just to show you, the counter is reading 455. And I switch to the symmetrical sweep and I have it set for a 100 kilohertz sweep. Then I'll come over to the scope, turn on the vector, go back to here and hit the, you see the sweeping on the counter there. The center marker is set for 455. And on this screen, of course you can see the pulsing of it, 455 is right there and it should be in the center of the screen. I can turn the intensity of that particular dot off and you can see the other markers. You have one there, there, there should be the center and I have these two. I just push the two on either side off so I could focus on the center dot. That should be in the very center of the scope as you see the start point and the end point. And so this is going to be a chopped up video as I start and stop the camera in order to access the inside of the 8601A and, and share the, the adjustments there. But this is just the beginning. So if you've never removed the bottom from your 8601, there are two screws, one there one there, they, uh, there and there, and then the, the metal panel will slide back and then raise off, and that gives you access to the calibration adjustment points. This is on the underside of the 8601A. And in the manual, it tells you to set up the the 8601A and then uh, what adjustments to make. So we'll start there. And the very first adjustment appears to be an A9R120. So that's the A9 board resistor 120. So now it's just a matter of finding that in there. And so again, I'll stop the video. I'll make sure I know exactly what I'm looking at and then we'll. Uh, See what adjustment we have. So they identify the symmetrical FC adjustment for minimum and then a symmetrical FC maximum adjustment. Well, in here on the board, they're actually labeled that way. There is symmetrical FC minimum and symmetrical FC maximum. So we start back here with the very first is the unit has to be set at in the CW mode with a sweep width set to zero, range 110, frequency one megahertz. So we're looking here that we're in the CW mode one megahertz setting and sweep width of zero and the calibration knob is all the way over and it's reading it's bouncing between one megahertz 0.99 there and what I did is I just made a, a slight adjustment to the vernier to get it to hold steady there so the first reading it says to do is go from the CW mode to the symmetrical and see what happens. So if I go from CW to symmetrical, let's see it jumps up 50 kilohertz. Go back to CW, smack down the one. And back up. So in, when it's in this position, when it's in the symmetrical sweep position, that's when we make our first adjustment on the FC minimum. 
we're going to try to do that and get it down to the one. Getting this thing to lock on one megahertz exactly has become a challenge at this low of a frequency at the high range, but that's the counter showing it in CW mode. And then I just switched it to symmetrical sweep and back down to CW mode. So I've got that trimmer adjusted in order to achieve that. Of course, I did use a ceramic adjusting tool. If I add in the last digit, then you pull your hair out trying to get that adjusted. So for my purposes, it's going to be fine. So there, I'm in symmetrical sweep. 1.0154 bouncing around, and then that's back in CW. 1.0176. Just to maintain sanity, I'll do it that way. All right, the next step it says to dial it up to 50 megahertz and uh, adjust the max. Let's see. Is 50 megahertz set on CW as you can see once it gets there I'll adjust that veneer and see, whoop, see if I can get it to hold stable there for a moment and then the next step we have to go do the same thing with the CW sweep switch put it in symmetrical sweep and adjust the FC max potentiometer to have the same reading I'll see how long it takes me to do that and then cut back on. I did decide I would show this. That is the CW setting right there. And when I go to symmetrical sweep, it jumps two megahertz practically. It's supposed to be the same. There's not supposed to be any shift. So that's what I'm going to be attempting to adjust out. Okay. So that is the reading in CW setting and the reading in symmetrical sweep which before I started the camera it was all zeros across the board so go figure what it was it was adjusting this potentiometer right here which is labeled as the maximal I suppose I could tinker with that a little bit more I had it and now of course that I want to show it to everybody out there back to CW and back up to that. Well, let's see. Live. No, overshot. should have left well enough alone. You know, when you work on this kind of stuff, it's hard to do that. Yeah. That's in the symmetrical setting. And that. All right. Next step is to roll it up to 110 megahertz and see what we have. That's in CW, and that's in the symmetrical mode. Now it tells me I've got to write that down and perform some kind of a mathematical calculation in there to see if I need to run through this process all over again. So I'm going to do that and see what I get. So really it was just a uh, percentage calculation, and it turned out that it was already within their uh, margin that they were looking for, 0.5% or 550 kilohertz. That was the 
CW setting I had, that's what it read as you saw when I flipped it to the symmetrical sweep setting, divided again by the CW and there it is. I rounded up the two. And so I'm through with that. I'll put it back together and uh, I'm not, I don't know if I want to do this sweep width adjustment or not. I might check that off camera and uh, I'll put it back together and then we'll look at the screen again. Okay, so now I've got it all back together. I'm set on 455 kilohertz on a symmetrical sweep that is 100 kilohertz wide. So there's my recorder there, I've got it set. So here we are on the scope. So if I push the center button, that's showing me that I've got the center marker, which is now lit up brighter than the rest, is in the center. It's 455. If I go to the low end, I have to adjust this a little bit to read it. As you do, you'll see it, because if you get too far to the end, it locks. So right about there, it's 410 is the low end. So now we'll go to the high end, and we'll come over here, same deal. Reduce it. See, that's the marker right there. You can see it move, and I get to the very end. Right about there. It says 505, so it's 410 to 505, about uh, 95 kilohertz instead of 100. Not too bad with uh, 455 right, right in the center, so that should help do alignments anyway. Just follow the manual. This was the uh, performance check sheet that you could go through for the symmetrical alignment. Everything did fall within specs, except right here, it was just a little bit out. I've tried it a couple of times. And then the same down here. This one was just a little bit out. But hey, for aligning old radios such as that, or that, I'm sure it's adequate. Hope this helps somebody anyway.